Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus giving you another full game recap. Uh, once again, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and all that notification icon. I'm rolling once again with the Eagles as my team, but this time I switched up my offense to the Kansas City Chiefs using a custom playbook on defense going against the Houston Oilers. And I will tell you that, that my opponent um, had a scheme. He knew what he was doing. Knew a lot of the uh, different types of adjustments, such as redirecting uh, hot rodding wide receivers and um, doing uh, playmaker and stuff like that. So this guy actually had he had the skill set uh, to win games, and this is this is going to be kind of a challenging game. Um, but you're going to see where um, I started finding his kryptonite on um, uh, on offense and on defense. So right here, he hits, hits me with like a little crossing route. I just couldn't get out there with my defender. He makes a really good play. And this guy had a tendency to roll off to the right with his quarterback and throw to other parts of the field. And I really didn't adjust too well to that. Um, so you know, you're going to see me going, well, how come I didn't blitz someone or put someone in a container or a spy off the right? I really should do that more often. But right here, another redirect uh, playmaker situation where he picks it up uh, gets the ball down to the 17 it was a good read by him go into 34 defense uh, cover four just blitz everybody uh, go ahead and, and put my guys in yellow zones in the middles just so if he has a fast read because he was hitting me with a drag route over the middle then I go ahead and just again uh, right here and pressure gets picked up you think he max proed right there and he's able to go and get a good little crosser but what I noticed right there is he threw into one of my defenders he threw into my user so um, I'm gonna get opportunities to basically get turnovers against him because he didn't make reads where he tried to stay away from my user now this guy was running a, a very run heavy type defense so he was I think he was using the bear spreading his defenders out playing a lot of man coverage so I jump back into uh, the single back Y off uh, right here and I've got basically a slot receiver he pull peels off of and able to go and hit him uh, and get a nice little uh, gainer right there for about a good 20 yards or so so I go back to this I form a close slot formation and you're gonna see me break down if you haven't done so already I'll break that down that that run that run is essentially gonna be really good hit him with a little reverse a jet sweep um, able to go and pick up some good yards I think I got a, a first down on that so actually no 31 and come back to the um, I form uh, uh, close slot and pick up a first down and ran off to the opposite direction and right here I go in and hit him with um, a little play action route he actually picks up the crossing route right there so I just drop it down to the running back because that was the next my next check down so Right here, I just go ahead and hit him uh, right up the middle of the field. He's been he's been attacking the sidelines and spreading his defense out. So that's why I went ahead and hit him up up top. And he actually presses. He's showing basically a bunch of guys in in the box. I'm figuring he's going to come after me in this third and seven situation. And he's using a lot of man coverage. So what I do is a little out route with Aguilar with the anticipation he's not going to be able to have, have a guy that's going to be able to get out there. Um, and just go ahead and throw the ball to Aguilar on the slot position and just go ahead and possession catch it, get my first down, keep the chains moving. There's no reason to go ahead and risk a rack catch and a drop. So right here, go ahead and run off to the left. Uh, I'm just going to wait for that run to break. It will break eventually for me. And this is a little spot route that I've shown on my channel before, and I throw this ball inadvertently. Actually, the tight end was wide open on that particular play. I got to lob that up for a nice big completion. And right here, I'm um, looking for the seam off the left. It takes off the left. I go to the court, to the tight end, and uh, Earth is unable to hold on to it. So I was debating going for it, but I figured. I think this guy's going to turn the ball over to me, so I'm going to take the three points and try to stop him on defense. So back to the strong close situation. I'm, I'm expecting him to try to hit me with a with a with a post over the middle. He actually drops it down to the flat, and he makes a good play right there. I miss a whiff a couple tackles right there. He gets gets the ball up to the 44 yard line. Back to the same play again. This time I'm actually going to go ahead and try to put a bunch of guys in coverage. I don't I set up my coverage right here. I do hard flats. I've got it. <clears throat> I'm going to do over the top with, with cloud fats, flats right here, and he does a little slant underneath, and he takes off this quarterback right here, and he throws across the field. Fortunately, he does not keep that ball in bounds, but this guy was definitely, he, he was dotting me up on, on, on different parts of the field, and he was going the other side. Right here, he takes off this quarterback and picks up a first down right there on that play. I'm actually sending the house to him, and he's just he's just picking up the blitz and taking care of it. So come back with the same play again, but this time a running play gets stuffed to get him into a second and 13 situation now we go into cover four 
I'm showing a blitz and actually jump into the man blitz of this and I'm figuring okay so he's probably trying to make make a play right here he actually throws right into my user I do not pick him off so I knew I'm gonna be able to get a break against this guy so now I go with a cover four uh, blitz right here just blitz everybody I figured I gotta let this guy make some uh, make some reads and what does he do he actually drops it down to uh, it's it, it just basically fourth and inches so instead of actually going for it which is kind of surprising he decides to take the points I was very surprised by this move and I think the reason is that he felt that if he got stuffed um, based, the, uh, based on that particular situation he didn't want to give me a short field so uh, that's probably his decision, but most players online are actually going to go for it. So I uh, go ahead and with uh, the fade stop route, uh, really good, great route. Uh, it's very hard to stop. I go back to the same play. Actually, I go ahead and switch it up here. And uh, he was running man coverage on the previous play, I believe. So right here, I'm going to go ahead. And I've got pressure coming off. I've got the in route, the dig route, basically no one over there. Um, and I'm, I'm able to rack it and get it down uh, to uh, a timeout right there. So now I go ahead, and uh, he basically has pretty much everything locked up. I go ahead and drop it down to a flat route. And I think in this situation, I, I no huddle. So about 30 seconds left. I'm going with the corner route right here. I'm looking to the corner, and it's pretty much locked up. It's all covered up. But look at this post route, wide open. He was doing something with his deep zone off the left-hand side, coming down and taking away one of his routes, which I think was trying to protect against a slant route. And that post route just got completely naked over the coverage and able to go and hit him and he throws right into my user so he's thrown into my users multiple times right here and I'm able to go and get a turnover so 10 10 uh, right now with 15 seconds left I dial him up with a, a full a full house play and look at my tight end in the back of the end zone just naked not covered up at all so I'm able to go ahead and get a touchdown going up on him 17 to 10 and guess what boys I'm getting the ball back so go back to the I form uh, stretch play out of the out of the slot close able to go ahead and get the ball down into field goal range this is a good situation right now because now I'm now I'm in a situation where as long as I don't turn the ball over I'm gonna be I'm gonna be in a situation where I'm gonna be up by two scores and that's going to put some massive pressure against them so back to the full house again this is a, a, a iso play and you can see the holes was right there unable to go and get through the hole but that play was actually set up for me third and seven situation i'm going to play i'm going i got a texas concept with a running back i go ahead and hot rod an out the out is actually taked up and i'm able to go drop it down to the running back and he completes it for the first down for me go back to the um run play out of the full house right here and he actually bottled it up really good so his defensive defender actually comes off and just talk, tackles me in the back zone but what I'm just thinking right now I'm just chewing up the clock I'm gonna go ahead and run the ball run the ball chew up as much clock as possible and actually for and take the points if I have to be up by two scores because it's all about winning the game so right here go back to the red zone play I have to drop it down to the running back because he pretty much took away all my reads and I get a fourth and three situation. And like I said before, I'm just chewing up the clock and I'm going to settle for the, being up by two scores. So <clears throat> back uh, on defense, I was running a lot of 43 defense, uh, the safety blitz type situation. Go ahead. He throws a cross body and catches the ball into the end zone with Hopkins. They actually get a nice completion. And right here back to um, this safety blitz. Um, this is a play that he was just shredding this defense, and I, I really couldn't make adjustments quick enough. And uh, he, his quarterback right here, oh, look at this play right here. He almost got away with a big play right there. Actually, one play touchdown, but uh, my defenders are right there. So now I come with a blitz out of this, a cover two blitz. He does a little uh, motion off to the side. I'm, I'm looking for the crossing run. He actually goes and runs into my guy, um, and he still is able to get the ball off. So this guy was throwing right in the coverage. So I go into the um, 43, uh, actually the um, the big uh, big dime defense with that popular blitz. I'm off sides. I did get an interception, but I go off sides and put myself in a bind. So he gets a free play out of that. There could have been a turnover and pretty much ice the game. So I stay with this defense again. Got it set up. It was actually a perfect setup for his offense. Pressure comes off the edge. He actually throws into double coverage. No one comes down with the ball, not even his wide receiver. So once again, same play again. He actually goes ahead and tries to run the ball, which is one of the Achilles heels with this defense. But my, my defenders are in the area to go and stop that. So third and five situation. 
Um, I, I'm going to hit him with the same cover two blitz. This guy likes to do a lot of underneath things. Um, I think, okay, so I switched it up into the cover three right here. Just try to mess his reads up a little bit. And I've got a defender right here. He does not make a play of the ball, but at least he swats the ball out of the wide receiver's hands. And what he does is he actually settles for three points. So this guy was actually not stupid. You know, if he didn't, if he walked away without any points, he would have lost the game. But it, by, by taking a three points, he still put himself in a position where if he gets a stop, he actually has a chance to go and tie the game up. And look at this. I go ahead and return a big touchdown, one of the rarities of my gameplay. Get it down to the two-yard line or three, uh, one-yard line right there. Go ahead, switch into aggressive blocking. Just go with a nice big heavy formation, which is the gun weak stack. And I'm just going to go and run the ball right up this guy's ass and say, hey, buddy, I'm getting this ball in the end zone. There's nothing you can do about it. And sure enough, uh, Howard falls in for a red zone uh, into the end zone and gets me a touchdown going up by two scores. And that's it. He's done so. So once again, my subscribers, thank you for your support, guys. If you want to see some of these schemes, you can go to my Patreon. I, I post all my schemes on that. And stay tuned for more gameplay. Thank you for your support. Until next time.